Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick intro uh, because this video is going to be a slightly different format than uh, just our average video. It's going to cover a lot of time because we want to get you guys caught up. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it and yeah, sit back, relax, and we'll get you caught up. I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is our rolling home, Dusty. We've been following our dreams of traveling around the world and after making our way south, we did it, very south, COVID brought us back to the U.S. But now, finally, it's time to explore again. So come along for season two. We can't wait to see where this adventure takes us. Okay, so last time we left you, we were in Luxor, Egypt, riding bikes, just exploring around and enjoying all the amazing sights Luxor had to offer. But before we knew it, it was time to head back to Cairo because, well, weeks ago, we had booked ourselves the flight to Greece. So bright and early at about 4 a.m., we began our journey and said goodbye to our little Airbnb on the West Bank and hopped in a taxi to head for the Luxor airport. And, well, that was about where our luck ran out that day. Okay, so we are on the second day of trying to get out of Egypt. Yep. Uh, we missed the first flight when our flight from Luxor was late getting here. Egypt Air wasn't really helpful. At and all. so the next flight they could get us on to Athens was the cheapest flight, so we booked that like a week ago going, hey, that's, I guess that's where we're going next while we wait on the truck. Um, they couldn't get us there until Wednesday or Thursday, and it's Sunday. It was Sunday. Now it's Monday. Uh, and so on Sunday we said, well, where's the next closest, you know, what, the soonest in Europe? And that was Paris. So I guess Paris. we're going to Paris. So it still cost us a bunch of money, but it was the least expensive change without having to wait until Wednesday. And hotels here are expensive last minute because all the tourists are in town booking stuff, so it was actually just cheaper to go. So we're gonna go to Paris, find a cheap Airbnb, and then maybe take a train somewhere, but it is crazy. So basically, we missed our flight due to the Egypt Air flight being late, and we had to spend a couple hours with Egyptian immigration, reversing our passports, showing we were leaving the country, which had been done in the Luxor airport. Officially back in Egypt, we spoke to Egypt Air, and they were willing to put us on a flight to Athens four days from now, or book us on the next flight to wherever we wanted to go with us paying the difference over the Athens flight. Then airport security told us that we needed to leave the airport as strict security says you can't hang out there or in a lounge or a restaurant until four hours before your flight. We found a local hotel to sit in the lobby and buy coffee throughout the night, and a quick 36 hours after our missed flight, we were on our new flight to Paris. At least it gave us a lot of time to find a hotel for the first night in town and an Airbnb for after that. The best part of our little hotel is uh, that one of our favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies, Rear Window. We are living uh, the it. The best movie of all time. We are living it right now. One of Tim's favorite movies. Just take a look out here. It is funny. There's also a little tower right over there that you might recognize, you might know what it is. Built by Hendrik Eiffel, that's not the right name, <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't think of it so I'm going with it. Mr. Eiffel. Mr. Eiffel. Um, it's crazy. We have such an amazing view watching Paris go by at night and just spectating. You know, it's, it's one of our favorite things to people watch. And although the, the, the tug to be back out into nature in the middle of nowhere is strong at this point, and we miss our home on wheels, this is our favorite thing, is to sit and people watch in a city where there's so much happening. It's better than any TV show we could imagine. Well, Paris was awesome, but it's also expensive, so we couldn't afford to spend too much time there. We needed to find a place to hang out and wait for the truck without spending a lot. And to save ourselves even more, we decided to get a Eurorail pass, since without Dusty, trains would be our primary mode of transportation. Now the plan was to head for Spain, where a friend had offered us a place to stay and a motorcycle to get around. But turns out it was a holiday in France, and our Eurorail pass didn't allow us to get to Spain without huge fees. So long story short, we ended up in a little place called La Ciota on the French coast, which we actually loved, and it turned out to be a highlight of our time in France. Eventually, we were able to get ourselves, again with a lot of hassle, stupid pass, to Barcelona, and a place to stay. We hit a freak storm in Spain, so it mostly rained while we were here. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't mean just a little rain. I mean it rained for like two weeks straight, which was actually kind of cozy and we got a lot of work done. And whenever the rain did let up, we got out, went for hikes, runs, or to grab some groceries. One day, it was even clear enough to go out on a little moto adventure. And if you want to see more of our little motorcycle adventure, I will put a link in the description below for that bonus video. It's crazy, since we've been here, it hasn't been sunny and everyone is out just like we are because now it's sunny. And uh, yeah, it's fun to see just everyone out enjoying the nice weather. Now it was starting to get close to the arrival date of Dusty, so we knew we needed to make our way towards Germany, where he was due to arrive in about a week. So it was time to book some tickets, and this is when our super convenient rail pass struck yet again. All right, good morning. We are heading out into the not so great weather. It's lightly raining, but we are trying to get out of here eventually and we need to book a train ticket but in Spain you cannot do that online or by calling so you have to go to a train station and we doubt we can do it at the little train station in this yeah. town but we're gonna try so you can book your train ticket reservation but you need seat reservations so the seat reservations you can call or online reserve it for 72 hours but then you have to show up in person to a train station a major train station and buy it so we're 30 minutes from, um, maybe 45 from a major train station, yeah. but we're really close to a minor train station. So we're gonna try at the small one. And then worst case scenario, we have to go all the way to Barcelona just to book a ticket to leave from Barcelona in a week, <laughs> which is pretty funny. It's like, slightly so everyone, frustrating. Or your alternative is you buy the ticket the day you're leaving, but we already got denied doing that because it was full. Yeah. So we don't feel like we should wait till the day, have, you know, a hotel booked, know exactly where we're gonna go, and then get told, you don't have a seat reservation and there's no more left. So anyways, you can check online how fully booked the trains are, and it doesn't look like it's a good idea to wait until the actual day. So we're gonna try and see if we can get ourselves a train ticket, and uh, hopefully we don't get soaked. Okay, so we could not get the train tickets here. We have to go to Barcelona, the main station. So it didn't make sense to both go because it's expensive and also we didn't really want to leave the motorcycle. So I'm going to get on the train, go to Barcelona, hope that I can get the tickets and come back until they pick me up. So that's what we're doing. Wish me luck. Barcelona and now I am waiting in line to hopefully buy our ticket. So we'll see how it works. Wish me luck. Alright, back on the train. I'll tell you about the tickets. It didn't go very well. Uh, but we have some tickets. So back on the train heading back to Now we just have to find Tim. <laughs> it's not raining. How have you been? I missed you. <laughs> so after all that, I was only able to pay for seat reservations for the first leg of the journey. Luckily, we were able to do the rest online, so in the end, it all worked out. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. We are leaving our little abode here in Spain. Bye, house. Taking our trash <laughs> and all our stuff. Yep, yeah, it's two backpacks. This is how we've been traveling. Pretty much everything 
in my front backpack is just camera gear, laptops, electronics, yep. and then clothing on the back. So that's how we've been walking. I was gonna say rolling, but pretty much walking. It feels a little weird walking through a nice residential area. <laughs> with like tons of bags on, but don't mind us. There's hardly anybody out, so no one's looking at us. At least it is nice outside and not looking like rain for a little while because I was a bit worried about having to walk. Yeah. And none of the backpacks are fully waterproof, so would have been interesting. Okay, we made it down the mountain, more like a hill, to the bus station. That's where we're waiting now, so we'll see. I think it comes every 15 minutes, but yeah. So hopefully we can get on the bus, go to the train station, get on the train, go to Barcelona. But uh, not a bad day to walk. It's one of the nicest days that we've had here, so not too bad. So. Okay, so we, the bus came and we could not get on the bus because we didn't have a ticket and I guess that bus that bus didn't go to the train station. So we were a little confused with the bus. Yeah. So we walked into the hardware store and just asked uh, People if, he, so nice. if he knew of a taxi and he goes, yeah, I'll call you a taxi. So we're now, we're, now we're waiting for a taxi. Yeah. Harley. But a lot yeah, of Harleys in Europe. Everyone is so friendly and uh, helpful. So yeah. if, you're, if you're traveling, don't be afraid to feel stupid and go in and ask because usually people are more than happy to help. So. I think too, we used to feel more like we were annoying somebody. Yeah. And they always like enjoy it. They're yeah. like, like what what can I do to help you? Yeah. Because for him to call the taxi that he knows by heart is easy, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I got this. You want me to talk to him? I was like, oh, that'd be great. Please. And uh, then he's just okay. I told him he's gonna meet you here. You know, five yeah. minutes. Yeah, it's it's nice. The more comfortable we get with that, the better traveling is actually. Yeah. So now we're waiting on the taxi. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. All right, finally at the train station, and I'm pretty sure the train just left. So now we're waiting <laughs> for the next train. We got, we got, well, look at this one. We got a lot of time to buy tickets. There you go. No stress. to the hotel and uh, check out the view. It's pretty cool. The, the city is much more alive uh, after dark here. It is. As you would expect in Barcelona, but. Uh, yeah, weather's so, so perfect. Like it's kind of chilly, hence the jackets, but <laughs> it feels good to walk around when it's nice and crisp out. Yeah. Yeah. So we're heading for a pizza place that's been recommended as really good and also affordable. Oh, oh how it pizza smells should be really good. Simple and perfect. Okay. Here we are, living in uh, 2035 in Barcelona. 
That's pretty talented. He had glasses and everything uh, on that. Totally. And you can imagine the amount of trips he makes a day. I'm sure at some point he just said to his boss, look, it's going to be better for everybody. I'm good at this. <laughs> All right. You crash into anybody, you're fired. That's but, pretty good. Yeah. All right. We got the pizza. I've tasted it. It's good. And uh, now we're going to eat, watch some YouTube, and go to bed because we got to get up early tomorrow. And we'll see you tomorrow as we make our way to Bordeaux. <laughs> so, see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is uh, cold and windy and might rain kind of a day. Luckily, we don't have a long walk this morning. We're almost to the train station and hopefully soon we'll be on the train. So, we'll let you know how it goes. Well, this was supposed to be a pretty straightforward train ride with one change, but there was one last hurrah of the joys of public transport. As soon as we sat down on our first train, the second train was canceled. We figured it out, but it turned into a very long, not so fun filled day with sitting down into a wet seat, lots of scrambling, a tick crawling up my leg, and all in all just made us really miss Dusty. When we finally made it to our hotel in Bordeaux, we were ready to collapse. We made it. Yeah, we are wrecked. We did rally and we took showers and we're gonna go out and- It's way too pretty to not go out. It's so cool. This is, like, we already want more time here. We just got here, mm -hmm. but Bordeaux looks amazing. So we can't wait to go yeah. walk around. Um, not but, cheap, but it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's so cool too. Everywhere in this town are catamarans because the Lagoon yeah. catamarans and Beneteau like monohull yachts is based right, literally, if you can see through that wall, we're on this little canal and they're right over there. So, so it's just cool. a neat place to like. I can't wait to walk around. People watch, object watch, like sailboats. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. It's just really pretty. So yeah. we're excited. And uh, thanks for coming along today on the crazy journey of getting here. Yeah. And this walk, we're going to go and find some groceries and some dinner. Mm -hmm. And we need to drink more water because after all the traveling, we're dehydrated. Yeah. And then tomorrow, we'll take you with us on a little adventuring around town. Yeah. So thanks for coming along, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you probably tomorrow.